Hello, people that are very invested into my life and that are willing to watch me do these videos or that were willing to respond to my story. Um, this is something that I've always kind of wanted to do. Um, and now that I kind of have more time in my life, said no college student ever. But, um, you know, it's just something that keeps me busy, um, gives me something to go to. If I, you know, have some free time that I don't want to be spent laying around. Um, so I'm going to try to keep these nice and short. Um, I really don't have a specific time limit that I'm trying to shoot for. But I'd like to try to hit like five-ish minutes, five to seven. Um, this might be, this one, this first one might be a little longer. Um, just to do, just due to the introduction and what we are going to be looking at as far as um you know this journey that we are starting so today i'm just going to talk to you about um the meaning of definition um the textbook meaning meaning the the, the oxford dictionary meaning and then we're going to go look at um what it means to me and then what it looks like in my life um, obviously, I'm going to just be telling you how it works for me. I don't want to be telling other people how to live their lives. I don't want to be telling you what doesn't or does work for you um, because obviously you are an individual and you are a unique individual. Um, so whatever works for you works for you. But if I can help in any way, I will be more than willing to do that. But um, yeah, if anything just stands out to you, um, go ahead, try it, see if it works for you. And if not, then um, that's good too. So what is motivation? Um, the definition, the Oxford Dictionary definition is the reason or reasons one has for acting or behaving in a particular way or the general desire or willingness of someone to do something. So people tend to think that motivation is um, you know, always have the willingness to work hard or always having that ambition, um, which is basically what it is. It's just ambition and motivation. I tend to think it's different things. Um, ambition is, you know, going tooth to nail, just going at her, you know, giving her hell. Um, but <clears throat> motivation is that I, I like to think is that mindset of doing something, um, just like it says in the um, definition, but yeah, I just like, I just, I just like to think that it's, it's a mindset more than, um, a physical feature. So to me, I have a lot of different unique, um, experiences with being a student and an athlete and also kind of, you know, working in between that. But, um, I'm going to speak as an athlete right now. So Athletic wise, I like to think as motivation, as a, a mindset or a mood that I have to be put in. Um, I mean, if you just go around and ask my teammates, um, especially in college, they will you will definitely get the vibe of it's more of a mindset for me. Um, I like I, I like to think that I am the most upbeat guy on the track when we're doing those workouts. Um, I'm always dancing, singing, laughing, you know, just trying trying to spread good vibes throughout the workout because some of those workouts are not easy, and I know that, and I know that other athletes that are on my team struggle with some of them, so I like to coach them through it or even just stay positive and give them feedback or just, you know, try to get them to dance with me or something, you know, just trying to keep the, the positive vibe going. But as a student, I like to tend to think of it as a more hoorah-rah, like most people like to think of it as motivation, like something as like, um, you know, getting pumped or doing something like that, um, like um, football players in the tunnel, if you've ever seen that. Um, that's how I like to think of it as a student, because as an athlete, as an endurance athlete, I should add, um, you really can't go all hoorah-rah during a workout because obviously it's endurance. Um, 
you got to spread that out throughout the whole workout. You can't just, you know, go all out that first set because you're going to be in a whole lot of pain um, in that next however many sets that you have. So as a student, I like to take it assignment by assignment because each assignment is going to be different. So each assignment is going to kind of work a different part of the brain. I sh kind of, I don't know. I like to think of it that way. Um, but yeah, so I like to, you know, get in this mindset of, um, you know, giving it my best as far as, you know, putting everything into it. Um, I like, I don't, I don't want to be cocky or anything. Like most of you that know me, I, I, I barely talk about my achievements and I barely, you know, give myself credit for everything that I do. But I like to tend to think that if I give my best on an assignment, that that will be better than any other student in the class. Um, it's, it's just that mindset. Um, it might come from my athletic background um, because that confidence really helps you uh, throughout that work that you're doing. Um, so as a student, I like to think of it as head down, you know, get through it, nose to the grindstone, um, as some people like to put it. Um, and there was a little video that I saw that a swimmer that does 25 laps in a pool, um, was talking about. And he, whenever he would do these 25 laps, he would never look up at the counter, um, that was counting his laps because he knows if he looks up every lap that he's doing and counts them himself, that he'll be done by 15 laps. He will not have nothing left. So if you just put your head down, um, you know, get through it. Um, usually I do all my homework on a, one particular day. Um, that way I don't have to spread it out like as a, a workout, like spread it out through the week like a workout. So I just have that one particular day that I just, you know, hammer hard, hammer hard, hammer hard on all that schoolwork and get through it. Um, but as far as that goes, there's also that, um, first part of the definition. Um, so that first part talks about reasoning, um, the reason why somebody does something. We were focusing on the, the second part where it was the desire or willingness, but without that, without that reason, people tend to fall apart way easier than you tend to think. Um, for me, without that reasoning, for, for me, I like to use an outside source um, for my why. Like if as, as an athlete, am I doing it for my PRs? Am I doing it for my body type, like to look more fit? Am I doing it for my own titles or championships or trophies? Or am I going out and doing it for the team? Am I going out doing it for the coaches? Am I out going, doing it for somebody else um, that can really tie me down to what I've said that I want to do, really hold me down to my goals? Um, as an, That can also be applied to um, being someone in the workforce or being a student. Because when you're a student, you... Are you doing it for your grades, like your own grades? Are you doing it to make you look better? Are you doing it, you know, to make you look more smart? Or are you doing it for your classmates? Are you doing it to, um, you know, if you're doing a group project, are you doing your best for your project, your um, end of the project? Are you doing that for your other classmates? Are you just doing it for yourself? Um, If you are only doing it for yourself, to me, I tend, I, I've, I've been through that, like, I tried to think, like, oh, I, like, as an athlete, I want to make it to nationals and all that kind of stuff. But while I'm doing that, like, if my coach puts me on that course and I'm doing it for a national title, like, that's the driving force, I tend to rationalize with myself and say, okay, maybe, maybe that 
maybe I can settle for a conference title. I tend to rationalize with myself, um, which is obviously not what you want to do if you want to reach your full potential. So um, you can only push yourself so far um, because, like I said, you tend to rationalize with yourself. Um, you can't, you can't bring yourself, you, you can't bring yourself to your own natural ability. You can only bring yourself to your own natural ability, but that outside driving force is going to pull you or push you to that, um, next stage in your, you know, career or your next stage in that development. Um, so I'm going, I, I'm going to end all of my videos with a quote that really um, speaks to what we have been doing um, or what we have been talking about. So this quote is by Enki Johnson um, and it says, people burn out, people don't burn out because of what they do. People burn out because they forget why they're doing it. So... Um, that really speaks volumes because like I said, um, if you don't have that reason, if you don't have that, like I like to tend to think that outside driving force, people will burn out as much more easily than people that have that outside driving force. Um, I've been around some people as far as athletic wise, um, runners tend to track their mileage over a weekly basis. And that's how, like, they'll base their training off of. So we've had some kids that have come into this program running 60 to 70, you know, high mileage guys. And I've gotten up there a couple of times. Um, so I've had some people go up to those people or even come up to me and say, hey, like, you need to, you need to bring it down a notch or you're going to burn out. And I always think to myself, um don't hold your breath <laughs> because I have, I have that why I have that reason. I have that outside source that's keeping me grounded to my goals. Um, uh, and with that, you can't burn out. So, um, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I know this one was kind of long. Um, I told myself that I wouldn't try to, you know, go down a rat hole with all of this because I was very excited to do this, but, um, yeah, we will, you know, do it next week. Next week, I'm pretty excited about. Um, I don't want to make this into um, a religious type of anything. I mean, obviously, like, if you follow me on Facebook, um, you realize that I have made it down that path a little more. Um, but I don't want to, you know, force my views on anybody else. And I don't, like, I respect whatever you believe and I respect um, whatever you want to believe. But next week, just because of Sunday being November 11th and I have a quote or I have um, um, a Bible verse that goes along with that, that I have been living life by a little bit. So I am going to do that next week so if you are not very religious and you don't want to tune in by all means you don't have to and like i said i don't want to turn this into a big religion um podcast or video or whatever i'm gonna call this vid yeah i don't know but yeah so that will be next week and um thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching